Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be taking a look what's going on this week in Red Dead Online. And if you've logged in like I have, of course we do not have a winter update. We don't have any DLC. Rockstar never does it this way. I see videos go out and I always completely think it's hilarious that people still say that when I know they know better and get people worked up. They don't never at least put a trailer out or have some kind of a hint about in the newswire if they're not gonna do one or whether they're gonna do one. And we didn't get that. Sometimes they would do one on Thursday and Friday and that coming Tuesday we'd get one, but they didn't do that. So if anybody ever tells you opposite of that, don't believe them unless Rockstar completely changes everything they've ever done. But we have some really good money this week in Red Dead Online. So let's hit this real quick. Go ahead and go do your quick join. And when you go to quick join, you'll go to featured series and you have double money and double gold. And they actually brought back Gun Rush. Gun Rush is pretty fun. Um, then you get some campers. Uh, but it's been forever since I've seen Gun Rush. So Gun Rush is back in, and like I said, it's double money and double gold. And next, this is a big one right here. Go to your trader. And right now you can see I don't have a full delivery, but for just a local, it's $512. And for long distance, it's 640 with only 64 goods. So that is double money for trader. That's huge, guys. Um, you could make a ton of money. It's $1,200 for long distance but I would recommend doing uh, short distance. I would do local. You don't gotta worry about it getting blown up. And even if you don't care about that, the amount of time you save, usually it's under a minute to do a local delivery. So anyway, just wanted to throw that out there. Definitely take advantage if you have the trader roll. If you don't have it, find a way to get it, get gold up and get it. Um, it's definitely gonna pay for itself. And the third big money bonus this week is double money on moonshine deliveries. Now, even Burt Higgins is giving out $288. And then like, for instance, like Barry Cobbler, if you have the recipe for that, it's $453. That's awesome. And a lot of these too, make sure you rank your Moonshiner up, make sure you get the extra equipment. That's how you're gonna get the more money for the Moonshine deliveries. If you're stuck at the bottom and not realizing why your numbers aren't showing these, you gotta rank up the Moonshiner roll. You gotta get the extra equipment and stuff from Harriet upstairs. But also, if you go ahead and go to the telegrams, you're gonna see in Call to Arms, all the maps are back. So before, you know, the past two weeks, it was Valentine and Blackwater. Now you can pick anyone you wanna do. They're on standard mode. And uh, yeah, go ahead and take advantage of it. I mean, it pays out pretty decent, but it's fun though. It's one of the funner things they've done in the past year in Red Dead Online, or all together actually. So now we're gonna go ahead and just take a look in the catalog. If you go over to weapons, and when you get into weapons, go to rifles. And let's go over right here. You will see, okay, we got the rolling block and the Carcano are both on discount. Rolling block normally is $411. It's going for 246. Carcano usually is 456, going for 273. Definitely go ahead and pick both of them up. Rolling block is great for far away. Usually it's a one shot depending on most, most circumstances. Uh, but Carcano, if you had to pick between the two, I'd go with Carcano just because it's a little bit more rapid fire. But definitely go ahead and just grind the money up. And so especially with the bonuses this week, it's almost two for one with the price that you currently have to get them. And then if you'll back out and go to ammunition, you'll see all ammo is on discount. Now this will include the sedative rounds over at Harriet as well but definitely stock up on these. And these are one of the things stock up again next Monday night before the sale goes off, just so you can keep that stocked up in your lockbox and stuff at the post office. Next, if you go to weapon accessories, you'll see some of the bandoliers, the just one shoulder bandoliers are on discount, a pretty decent discount with those. Honestly, I don't even mess with the bandoliers. Usually they glitch out so much and look ridiculous on my character. I never even messed with them, but in case you do, it, or you got a you got a hefty sized character, normally it'll fill it out better though, but those are on discount this week as well. Now this week also looks like it's a bounty hunter week. Now I did a regular bounty. I didn't notice any money, XP bonuses or gold. I waited the 12 minutes like normal. Didn't see anything like that. It might be legendary bounties or nothing at all with the bounties. We already got really good payouts as it is. But if you guys did any of the other bounties, let me know down in the comments before the newswire comes out. Of course, they'll tell us if it is. But right now uh, you have select low rank bounty hunter outfits are on discount. And uh, let's scroll through here, get up towards the top part here, go past some more expensive. You got the Breton horses are on discount. It's actually a really good horse. Um, I like it. And uh, you got Bolas are on discount. You have the regular ones and then you have the prestigious ones over at the fence. And then you have the Delgado saddle, which is really good. 
Then you also have the Bounty Wagon. Uh, you're saving a pretty good amount of money on that. Normally it's 875, it's down to 612. If you're a solo player, you get some of those six bounties or even some of the three bounties and stuff like that. If you have the ones that are over in Blackwater and there's a couple over in Strawberry that are really quick too as well. You need to throw them all in there. Uh, that's that's a great discount. Uh, let's go ahead and see. I think that's about it other than the Guerrero Gun Belt and the Guerrero Holster. And I think that ends it out for that. Now there's also like some rings and stuff over at Madame Nazar for the bounty hunter. And then also if you go over to the barber shop, you're gonna notice there's the haircut and the mustache for the bounty hunter as well. And then finally, if you stop at your camp, you're gonna see the camp theme for the bounty hunter also is on discount and tracking arrows over at the fence is also on discount as well to get that pamphlet for it. So anyway, guys, that's what we got this week. Hopefully Newswire comes out. We have some kind of good information. Really sound like a broken record saying that over the three years Red Dead Online's been out. But hopefully we do get something for the winner. I'm not even gonna bother speculating because why bother? You know, there's enough lying videos out there and some videos that may have a little bit of grain of salt to them, but most of them is just for clicks and stuff. So anyway, we'll see how that goes. I kind of quit doing that because I mean, do we really know what Rockstar is doing? Rockstar doesn't know what Rockstar is doing. So, anyway, guys, if you want to stay up to date with Red Dead Online, go ahead and hit the sub button and bell notification. And as always, guys, I'll catch you next time in the next video.